Hey guys, welcome to Farm Charm Chic. I'm Emily and today I am creating a holiday tiered tray. It is in a buffalo check theme and you are not going to want to miss it. I am so excited with how it turned out. If you have not had a chance to subscribe to my channel, I would love if you would consider doing so. Also give this a thumbs up if you like what you see, but let's go ahead and get started. These little wooden houses are so popular right now and I feel like you can find them a lot of different places. This particular one came from the wood section at Hobby Lobby. I have found them at Dollar Tree. I found them in the clearance section at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart. I've even cut them out of wood myself before. So however you can get your hands on these, they are so fun to add different embellishments to for different types of decor. So just using my trusty old purple glue stick school glue, I just put this all over the wood, making sure that I pay attention to all of the little edges. So that way all of the edges of the paper will adhere to it really well. I, I chose not to put any of the glue onto the paper and it did adhere just fine. You can use like a Cricut scraper, like an old gift card or credit card. I have a Mod Podge roller, which I absolutely love for this, and I just roll it on to make sure it gets a really good bond. And then if there's excess hanging over the edge, if it's big enough to cut your excess, I get as much I can as I can off with my scissors, and then I just go in with my emery board. Whatever you use to sand with will work just fine, but you'll go in a slow downward motion, and this is what gives it a very crisp and pristine and very professional look so it looks like that paper was truly cut to go on that house. One thing I love to do is to use things for multi-purposes. So I found this little garland at Hobby Lobby and I absolutely loved that it has little red trucks I can use for different items. It has a couple of evergreen wreaths on there. Even the little red wooden beads I'll probably use in something. It was 50% off so it came to $7 but I can easily get five or six different projects out of it. So I feel like that is definitely worth it and is very good quality. So I'm taking this wreath and I did have to take one of the little evergreen stems off because I felt like it was a little disproportionate. If you can kind of see there, it looked like it was missing something. So where I'm going to place the bow at the top, I'm not worried about that having any extra greenery, but I just used a little hot glue to glue that on and it held it just fine. I truly love projects like this because you can customize it to your own decor or your own colors and you can truly be so creative with how you put it together and the different styles of things that you use. So I will just use some hot glue on the top and bottom of this wreath. You do want to hold it down for a fair amount of time just to make sure that that hot glue completely dries because it is that particular wreath that I'm using is a little plasticky. But before you lift up, just make sure that it's the hot glue started to dry so that way it'll stay on really well. And and then I'm just taking that bow and I did kind of fluff it up a little bit more and just glued it right back on. And I just went in and dovetailed the little edges because I thought that just added a really cute little touch to it. And that is it for this. Now you could go in and stain the wood and the chimney and stuff if you wanted to. I particularly liked the raw wood. If you don't even have a chimney on your house, you wouldn't even worry about that. But I think this is going to look so cute on our tiered tree. I have found these little tobacco baskets a lot of different times and a lot of different places. At Hobby Lobby, they have them in the Christmas section with these little words in the center. Now I have found them there before that have not had the little words on. So if you happen to have one at home, this is just hopefully inspiring you to repurpose or reuse it. Because when this is done with Christmas time, I fully anticipate making another little label to stick in there instead of joy to have it say something different for all year long. So you you can easily change that up to match your colors. You can just see it's just hot glued in there so you can easily remove that or make something to go over the top. But for my tiered tray today, I'm just taking a little sprig of evergreen and I am just going to wrap the wire around the back just to kind of embellish it a little bit. If you wanted it to say something different, you could change that too. Like I said, I hope this is just helping you get some ideas of different ways that you can repurpose things that you may already have or things that you find in the store.
So now to winter this up, make it a little bit more Christmassy, I'm going to take these little wooden three-dimensional snowflake stickers from Dollar Tree. They have a little bit of a three-dimensional sticker on the back to kind of pop them out. And at first I just go through and I stick them on every other of like the ribbons, but then I decide that I think, no, they need to be placed on all of them. So I'm just trying to use the stick that's on the, like the sticky stuff on the back of them. But I quickly realized like they just kept falling off. The sticky was not, the adhesive, let's go with that, was not um, strong enough to stay. So I thought, well, I'm gonna hot glue them on on then and so I just use a little bit of hot glue and I glue them on the bead next to where the ribbon is because I feel like after Christmas if I want to take those off the hot glue should just kind of pop right off and so I didn't want to kind of mess my ribbon up if that makes sense so I just take just the teeniest bit of hot glue and hot glue them on the bead just next to the ribbon on each of these little areas I think this turned out so cute. I love the embellishments on this little beaded garland and it is going to be so cute draped on our tiered tree. This would be so cute to do with any type of little greenery that you may have around your house. I found this is like a little place setting like where you would put like a name card and I just took that portion out and then I just glued the little piece that came out back in. But if you had like even in the wedding section at Dollar Tree, they sell like those cute little buckets or you might have like a terracotta pot that you've painted to match your tiered tray. Anything like that that you could easily just stick some evergreen in or whatever plant. And then I'm just taking some scrapbook paper and just cutting it down to size because I'm just going to cover up the majority of the little base with this buffalo check. That's going to kind of tie it in to my, you can see here, it's just going to tie it into my tiered tray. I just used some hot glue to uh, get this to stick. I feel like this would very easily be removed if I wanted to change it up for different holidays or remove it completely. I then take some jute twine and just wrap it around three or four times. This just gives it a little bit of texture and I just tie it off in a knot and then I'm going to make a little jute twine bow to go on the front of it. So I just wrap some twine a couple of times around my fingers and then just tie it off in the middle with another piece of twine. Then I just snip my longer pieces of twine off there and then I just use some hot glue and I just cut the little tails on the bow to be the length I want them. And then using that hot glue, I'm just going to glue this right on the front so it just looks like that twine was completely wrapped around and then tied off. But I think this looks so cute. It's just such a simple little way to tie in the items in your tiered tray and something you could easily work with pieces that you already may have. I have these little wooden, I think they're just finials that I got off Amazon. I'll link them in my description box below, but I'm just gonna take four of them. And I purchased this package of coasters that is the Buffalo Check. And I thought they would be really fun to do something with on a tiered tray. So we're actually gonna make little feet out of these little finials and glue them onto the bottom and just make a little riser for our tiered tray. You can do this with any type of coaster or tile that you find like at the hardware store that you might have left over from from a project you can decoupage any type of um, design or napkin or craft paper or glue stick any type of craft paper so you don't have to specifically buy coasters with the design you're looking for you can easily make one too uh, and just kind of use that for whatever style tiered tray you're going for or just as you know a little extra design that you're looking for if that makes sense after I get all of the feet painted to match my coaster, I'm just going to use some of this gel super glue. I feel that that's going to give it the best hold and I just glue all four of the little feet on in each corner. I did buy this just at Dollar Tree. I feel that the gel is the best because you don't have problems with the super glue running in every direction. So now that I've got that riser done, I'm gonna make a cute little sign to go on it. Now they sell little chalkboards at Dollar Tree that I've seen. I did not have any of those in my stash, but I did have this cute little one from um, Hobby Lobby that came from their Christmas section in the ornaments and it was 50% off, so it was $2. And I just did this little graphic. I'll put a link down in my description box for it. This is all is calm, all is bright. And I just thought that was so beautiful. I feel like the tiered tray theme today is just a very peaceful winter, almost like when it freshly snows and you have that like silence of 
the snow and the quietness, if that makes sense. And so I thought this saying that all is calm, all is bright was a perfect saying to put on this little chalkboard. I think this turned out so cute and so pretty. I did leave the hanger on the back in case I ever decide to hang this on anything, but I think these look so cute together. I would like to take a minute just to introduce you to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. If you guys have not heard of Skillshare, they are an amazing online community with literally thousands of classes for creators like you and me. And right now, Skillshare is giving the first 1,000 of my subscribers that click on the link down in my description box a free month trial of Skillshare. So it is the perfect time for you to explore a new skill, refresh or brush up on an old hobby that you might have had, or just give yourself that creative outlet that we all need. And there's classes from like woodworking to cake or cookie decorating, watercolors, painting, financing, or even productivity. But if you guys have been here for a minute on my channel, you know that I struggle a lot with hand lettering and freehanding things. So I was so excited to find this class by Kylie Bennett called Lettering in Color. Kylie is amazing and she loves to let you know that you don't always need to be perfect and that everybody needs to start somewhere. It is so satisfying watching her do her work, but what's even more satisfying is the fact that I can create something that I'm proud of. Another amazing thing about Skillshare is that you get to work at your own pace. So you get to pick and choose how long it takes you to finish a specific class. Also, there are no ads, so you get no interruption when you sit down to take a class. I love the community aspect where people who have taken the classes get to share their work and their progress as well. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Make sure you're one of the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click that link down in my description box and claim your one month free trial of Skillshare. Let's get back to some DIYs. This cute little snowflake ornament came in a pack of four or five from Dollar Tree. It does have the little place for you to place your ornament tag, the hanger on there. So I am just filling that in with some spackle. And then once it dries, sanding it down, you can definitely make ornaments out of these. But since I'm using it for my tiered tray, I did just want to kind of cover that hole up, if, if you will. So I just go front and back with some white chalk paint and just cover this completely and make sure that I just have some good coverage with that. After the paint dries completely, I go in and give a full coat of Mod Podge to one side of this because I'm going to use some glitter to give this a little bit of sparkle and embellishment because I feel like I see snowflakes should have a little bit of sparkle, if you will. So I have some bigger size glitter and you can buy glitter at Dollar Tree, Walmart. I mean, you guys know where to buy glitter at, but some of this comes from Dollar Tree. Some of it came from Walmart, but you just sprinkle it all over and I did a finer uh, size glitter on top of the bigger size then you're just going to turn it over look how pretty that looks but you're just going to turn it over and repeat the same process on the other side so that way it's double-sided if you were to see it you wouldn't have to do both sides but it definitely makes it look so much prettier this is definitely a perfect project to do with kids or grandkids anybody that likes to do arts and crafts because it's a fairly simple project and if you're not afraid to let them loose with some glitter <laughs> then you're good I love the iridescent look that the glitter has. It looks so sparkly in person. I love this. A whole tree would be beautiful out of these. So this is just to give you an idea that sometimes you'll see things that you think, what on earth would I ever do with that? I found this little like in the floral section and you can easily make these with some styrofoam balls and some fabric like I'm showing there. But I bought this, it's $4 for the whole bundle. So I mean, it is a little on the pricier side, but I thought there were so many things I could do if I took these off of the little stems that they were. They kind of just matched my tear tray and I thought they would kind of be fun to just be like a little bit of filler in there, if that makes sense. They were so easy, they are just styrofoam. So they were so so easy to remove from all of the sticks there and I just took a little a metal bucket that I had and just placed them in there so if you ever see things that match kind of try and think of what else you could repurpose them as did you know that in the dollhouse section at Hobby Lobby where you can build your own dollhouses they sell all sorts of fun little furniture and enhancements for the dollhouses and I found this little package of windows that comes with three they were about five dollars I think for the three of them 
but I, when I looked them up online, they've been a little bit more expensive than that. So I thought I would grab them because I thought they would make really cute additions to a tiered tray. So I am just going to give it a quick coat of white paint front and back, and then I go around the edges with antiquing wax. I feel like this just kind of gives a little definition to all those fun little window panes that you can see in there. So I do go all over all of the edges with this, just a really light brushing with it just to bring out all those cute little architectural designs in there. I have these little grapevine wreaths. So you can get these at any craft store. I've seen them at Dollar Tree in different shapes. So wherever you can get a little teeny wreath and it can be a greenery wreath, whatever kind you'd like. And I'm just going to glue that with some hot glue up to the top. And then I do have to go back in and put a little hot glue on the bottom to give it a little bit more stability. And then you'll just pick whichever color of bow you want to put on. And since, of course, we're doing buffalo check right now, I'm putting this cute little bow on there. I think this is just absolutely darling. Now, to make this a little bit more Christmassy, I am just taking some uh, evergreen that I have on hand already. It did come from Hobby Lobby. So any kind of greenery you have will work. And I take a little pine cone and a little bit of that greenery and I kind of just fix them together and then I'll just take them and glue them in the top middle of my wreath, just directly underneath that bow. That just brings a little bit of Christmassy look to it or winter. I just love that. Now to have this be raised up in your tiered tray, cause you know how sometimes the edges of your tiered tray can be a little bit high. I'm just going to paint a Jenga block, um, the same color of white and just using some gel super glue I just adhere that to the bottom to lift it up and look at how absolutely darling this is. This is something you could use all winter long. I just love this for a tiered tray. Don't forget that I'm on Instagram also. I love to meet new Insta friends, so I would love for you to come over and say hi, check out my page and see all the latest projects that I'm working on. I'll be sure and leave a link down in my description box so you can easily find me. If you're anything like me, you have several of these little boxes from Dollar Tree hanging around in your stash. I have used them for so many different projects and I love them. They are so versatile. We're gonna make a couple little packages out of these today or little presents. So I just go ahead and give a base coat of black all over the bottom and then the four sides of each of these little cubes. Now I'm not super worried about the coverage. There's a couple places, but we're going to really distress these with some white paint. So I'm not worried about that. And the little cutout that's on there is going to be covered with some ribbon or fabric. So I'm not worried about that either. So don't fret about that. And I just get some white chalk paint and I very thickly go over it just to give it a very weathered, worn look. You of course can paint these to your to match your decor or to your liking. I just really like the way that these looked once I got that white dry brushing on there if, if you will so i think they look really cute now i didn't have any buffalo check ribbon that was thin enough to go over these little boxes but i did have some fabric so i just cut some fabric strips down to a size that i felt looked good around them and it just happened to be like two rows of squares as you can see there and then i just take a little bit of hot glue and stick the end in one side of the open edge you'll see how i do this here and i just cut like you can see i'm cutting it just to match the size of the box. So I'll put a little bit of hot glue and using my little trusty silicone finger slide, I don't even know what those are called, but <laughs> they're from Dollar Tree and I love them. And then I just wrap it around and then just put some hot glue in the uh, opening of the other side. Pretty self-explanatory, but there you have it. And that just gives you the cute little, like it's got a ribbon tied around it. So now for the top, I'm taking some of this evergreen that I have and I cut a couple pieces of it off and then using some floral wire, I just wire it together so I don't have to put a bunch of hot glue. I can just hot glue one little area on. And then I just take a little pine cone and put that on there. I thought that looked really cute. You can embellish these any way that you want with whatever types of things that you have in your stash. I had these little silver curly ribbons. I believe they came from Walmart a few years ago, but I think it's something they have every year. I've even seen similar ones at Dollar Tree, or you could even use gift wrap ribbon. And I just cut a little couple pieces off of it and glued it like it was kind of curly cueing out of the evergreen there. I thought that was cute. And of course you're gonna have a bow on a package. So I just thought that looked cute, but of course completely optional.
and then I do the exact same embellishment on this second package. You could change it up if you wanted to. I just kept it simple, but the exact same things on this one. So I would have two of these for my tiered tray. I think these look absolutely darling. They are so cute. I think these are perfect and so inexpensive and such a fun little project to do. I always see these little stockings at Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, or somehow my kids end up with them as gifts from other kids and I have no idea what to ever do with them. So I decided when I saw this Buffalo Check one, I thought, how can I put that in my tiered tray? I love the little fluffy ring around the top of it. I thought it was so cute and I thought, well, if we fill it with some beans or some glass beads or something, maybe we can just stand it up on there. And I actually love how this turns out. So simple, so easy. So if you've got some of these hanging around or you see them for inexpensive pick one up for your tiered tray because it turns out so cute so i just fill it enough that it will stand on its own you can even use some hot glue if you want to seal it off completely i act i'm just showing you here i don't actually seal it off because look i put a little sprig of evergreen in there i thought that looked so cute such an inexpensive little touch for your tiered tray I am absolutely in love with how this tiered tray turned out. I adore each and every one of these little DIYs that I put on here. I think they really all just come together and make this tiered tray. I would love to know if you have a tiered tray, how you plan on decorating it for the holiday season this year. I would like to thank you guys so much for joining me today. I would also like to remind you if you liked this video to give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, I would love if you would consider doing so. And as always, remember to be safe, be smart, be nice, be happy. Choose to have a good day because you are amazing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy holidays. If you enjoyed the video that you just saw, here's another one that you might enjoy. And as always, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and have an amazing day.